You know, MPs go on holiday this weekend and they will do so with the verdict of the voters of Norwich North ringing in their ears. They've delivered a strong rebuke to the government. Dr Ian Gibson resigned six weeks ago. Tonight, there's a new Tory MP and the Conservatives say that David Cameron is on course for Downing Street. The new MP, Chloe Smith, is the youngest in the House of Commons. This is how it finished. First, Chloe Smith for the Tories with more than 13,500 votes. Labour was second with Chris Ostrovsky with just 6,200. The Lib Dems came third, UKIP were fourth and the Greens fifth. The turnout was 45% and the swing from Labour to the Tories, 16.5%. Our first report tonight is from our political correspondent, Andrew Sinclair. It is Chloe Smith, who's now the Member of Parliament for Norwich North. Within a couple of hours of the result, David Cameron was back in Norwich again, over the moon at the scale of his party's victory. And to see a result in which the Conservative candidate got a full 20 percentage points more than her nearest rival in what was a pretty crowded field. Good morning. Confident? Chloe Smith arrived at this morning's count knowing she was going to win. The question was by how much. Tory strategists were privately hoping for a majority of between three and 5,000. 13,591. 7,000 was beyond their wildest dreams. The people of Norwich North have rejected the old politics. And in doing so, they have sent a message to Gordon Brown very loud and very clear. Labour's candidate, Chris Ostrowski, wasn't even present. He's still ill with suspected swine flu. It was the final ignominy for Labour, who have struggled all the way through this campaign. But what was just as interesting was the number of votes cast for the smaller parties, a sign of the deep dissatisfaction felt by the public over MPs' expenses. In 2005, the smaller parties polled just 6% of the vote. This time they got... 28%, more than four times as many. And I think that's a good measure of the scale of popular discontent, not just with any one party, not just with Labour, but with the political class in general. UKIP surprised everyone by coming fourth, not far behind the Liberal Democrats, their best result ever in a Westminster election. We've not been involved in the MP expenses issue at all, so it has helped and very much on the doorstep, the anger is still there. While the Green Party secured almost 10% of the vote. So tonight the Conservatives are celebrating a very good win, the sort they need if they want to win power next year. Labour's problems just get worse. But the relatively low turnout and the strong showing for the smaller parties demonstrate a deep distrust of politicians, one which the parties must find a way to overcome. Andrew Sinclair, BBC Look East. Now, the by-election was called after the sitting Labour MP, Dr Ian Gibson, resigned after he'd become caught up in the row over expenses. So how big was the Gibson effect? Here's our chief reporter, Kim Riley. I've decided to tender my resignation as an MP with immediate effect, and I expect it to be accepted. The words that heralded a by-election to give Gordon Brown nightmares and the headlines that put the skids under a popular local MP. He'd been claiming expenses on his London flat where his daughter lived rent-free, then sold it to her at a cut price. Last night's question time from Norwich had a former government minister praising to the hilt the man the Labour Party dumped. He's a, a distinguished academic, a very talented man and a very, very good member of parliament. And nobody told you to stand down and your expenses were on a bar with his. <laughs> well, I... At the count today, a one-woman protest by university worker Elaine Sheriffs. They betrayed him. He's given all his life to serving the community. He's given all his time, his effort, his energy, and they've kicked him out, despite the fact that he's got a great deal of support in Norwich. Was it wrong, really, for Labour to have disciplined Ian Gibson? Well, obviously, the people of Norwich North think that, uh, but a process was, was set up. Ian went through the, uh, through the process. A lot of people were surprised by the outcome, and I suppose everybody in the Labour Party would wish that we were not here where we are now with a Tory MP. I think it's not unexpected in view of the way the last MP was got rid of. Um, I think it's very unfair. We did vote for Ian Gibson, and he was 
he was our candidate and we should maybe have been given a bit of a chance as to whether we wanted him to restand. You had some sympathy for him. Yeah, I do, in some ways, yes, because I do feel that he's kind of been singled out slightly. We haven't been able to contact Dr Gibson today. I understand he's away from the area. He'd served the people of Norwich North for 12 years and he believed he could win it again. Effectively sacked by the party he loves, many friends believe he paid the price for his reputation as something of a maverick MP. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, Norwich North. Well, let's talk to the new MP for Norwich North, Chloe Smith, uh, the youngest MP in the House. Congratulations. How does it feel? I'm pleased and absolutely delighted and very proud that, uh, that people voted yesterday and voted me for, me for me as their next MP. Uh, everybody is saying, of course, it is only a by-election. So uh, you overturned a Labour majority here. There's the Gibson effect, as we've just heard. Can you hold on to the seat at the next election? In many ways, I'm not looking that far ahead. I'm just looking forward, actually, to getting there and being a very good constituency MP for Norwich North. That is truly my first priority, and I can't wait to get at it. You and, and the Labour candidate were both are, are both very young. Uh, you're replacing a man who was a bit of a maverick, somebody with a big personality who spoke up for yes. himself. During the campaign, you were very much on message. Are we going to see the real Chloe Smith now? Yes, the, 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 there is. I don't think there'll be. A, I don't think there'll be a, be any problems with that. Certainly about Dr. Gibson. I mean, he 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 left a very strong legacy. Actually, I think of being a strong local, honest-minded MP, and and actually. You know, we need a bit more of that, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the challenge. So we can, we can expect you to be standing up for things that you believe in rather than perhaps Tory policy? Yeah, very much so. Uh, and, and what do you care most about as far as Norwich North and this part of the world is concerned? I think that there's been a range of things that, that come out, came up in the, in the by-election, but that also I'm, I'm, you know, I care about very strongly. I will carry on shouting out for the Northern Distributor Road and getting that one built, and I will carry on shouting out for uh, the health facilities down at Dussendale in, in Norwich. But I'll also keep on, keep on talking about crime and antisocial behaviour. You know, it really does uh, bother me that what, you know, people are afraid in many cases of uh, you know, what's hanging around their street corner. UKIP came forth mm. in this by-election. Um, did the Tories have to revisit their thoughts about Europe again? Well, to be honest, we've, uh, it, it's been a really interesting point of this campaign to be able to talk to voters about Europe. What we've got on, on in what we, we, the Conservative Party, have to say on Europe is actually very strong. We want that referendum on the Lisbon Treaty. I want that referendum. I will you, be standing up for the no vote on that. So you that's a very skeptic strong. Skeptic or a pro? I'm a skeptic myself. I think we should be coming back a bit from Europe. I think we should be taking powers back. And I'll be shouting for that. If you want a bit of me, that's, that's one thing I'll be shouting for. Well, enjoy your time in the house. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much for being Thank you. with us this evening. And back to the studio and Susan.